Hi everyone, this is Bob from the Netscope team and I'm very excited to give you a sneak peek at Netscope 1 Advanced SSE for Microsoft Entra. Now this solution combines Netscope's market-leading SSE capabilities including advanced threat and data protection with Microsoft's powerful SSE solution in a unified experience. It's a game changer, combining flexibility with security to make advanced protection simple and accessible for Microsoft Entra customers. Let's take a look at this in action. Okay, so to get started, we will go to our Microsoft Entra Admin Center and scroll to the bottom of the nav and click on third party, security solutions, and marketplace. So as you can see, this is where Netscope is listed and you click on get it now to start the onboarding process. So it's worth mentioning that Netscope's advanced threat protection and DLP are available today as services that have been unified with Microsoft SSE. Now, once we've onboarded, the next step is to download and install the Microsoft Global Secure Access client. This enables advanced threat protection to follow the user everywhere they go on their managed device. And then here you can see the Global Secure Client installed and running on my Windows 11 device here in the taskbar on the, on the bottom, as you can see. And then next, what we're gonna go ahead and do is start the policy configuration process. Now, I already have a configuration in place but let me show you the first step, which is the conditional access policy. And this will be the first action taken as part of the integration. In this case, we wanna give this, this user access to destinations like cloud apps, but we also want to attach a global secure access profile so the user is protected. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this global secure access profile looks like. Now, this is where we can attach web filtering, and advanced threat protection and DLP policies. So in this case, we have a threat protection and web filtering policy. Now this is very important. Uh, this is really where a lot of the work took place with this integration. This is an example of unifying Microsoft SSE with Netscope SSE. The conditional access and web filtering policy are delivered via Microsoft and the advanced threat protection and DLP are delivered via Netscope, all unified together into one profile and one client. So let's take a closer look at the advanced threat protection policy. In this configuration, we have all uploads and downloads scanned for threats. Now we can tailor the action based on the severity of the threat and we can also specify the destinations that we want to inspect. So here we have some of the common destinations that are used to deliver threats. Okay, so with our configuration in place, let's take a look at the user experience. Now, first, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to access a gambling website. And as you can see, access has been blocked, and this has been blocked using Microsoft's web filtering. Now next, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to click on a link in X that contains malware hosted in GitHub. Now Netscope Advanced Threat Protection blocks this malware, protecting the user and protecting the organization. It's also important to note that as part of the unification, events and incidents are unified into a single logging system. So if we go to the logs here, you can see that recent events all combined together. So if I filter by block actions, you can see both Microsoft web filtering and Netscope advanced threat protection events have been combined together. So this is really at the core of what the unification is all about. So there you have it. That is a sneak peek at Netscope 1 advanced SSE for Microsoft Entra. The private preview that I showed you today can be activated today via Entra and purchased via the Microsoft Marketplace when generally available. Thank you very much.